Parts and Holes, Part 1. <clears throat> I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. Do more than just watch. Use the printable viewing guide while you watch to take notes. Using the word and picture parts of the brain together improves thinking and remembering, makes you smarter. Here's the address. The big idea, abstractly, almost everything we do with amounts and numbers involves a whole that's made up of parts. We add or multiply parts to find what a whole amount is. We subtract or divide if we know the whole and need to find a part. Let's spend some time with this idea. Look at this picture of my bicycling buddy Carla. What parts of Carla can't you see? Why do you say her head and neck are there even though you can't see them? You can name the parts that you can't see because you know what the whole thing looks like. The parts are still there even though you can't see them. What parts of gravity aren't shown in this picture? Are they really missing or just out of sight? You know, gravity has a head and front feet, even though you can't see them in the picture. Trust me, he does. The big idea here, the parts of something and the whole thing exist at the same time. And we can think about either the whole or the parts. I'm not a wimp. I just don't like storms. The rest of this truck is there. Let's see how this works with numbers. This case of soda has 24 cans in it. Some are blue, some are purple, green, yellow, orange. If we talk about the four purple cans, is the whole case still there? Of course, the parts and the whole are both there at the same time. Four plus 20 is 24. The parts add up to the whole. Got it? Ready for the next part? With more numbers, finish up that response sheet and then go on to the next movie, Parts and Holes, Exercises. The